we'll always be bosom buddies, friends, sisters, and pals. We'll always be bosom buddies. If life should reject you, there's me to protect you. If I say that your tongue is vicious, if I call you uncouth, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will sit down and tell you the truth? Oh, no. Well, hello. Oh, just a minute. No, Tony Holmgren couldn't possibly make it, but I'd be more than happy to. <laughs> well, I never. And you never will. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, thank you for joining us once again. For what number are we up to now? Uh, episode 23. Episode. Thank you for joining us for episode 23 of 23. Naughty or Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, I got to get a backdrop that fits my uh, area here. It's odd. Yes. So pay no attention to my dressing room. Pay no attention to that dressing room behind yes, the Yes, exactly. And as you should all know by now, I am the naughty. The very naughty. Very naughty. Alexis Flame. And my co-host is the nice Tony Holmperm. Yes, she's such a modest Long Island house. Very modest, very modest. Tony, your jewels are stunning. Th thank you. Do you like do you like them? Oh, I like them a lot. Actually, it's very similar to the piece I'm wearing. As a matter of fact, you could it's almost it's it's practically its sister. Uh, actually, it is its sister. It is its sister. For anyone who's wondering why we're doing a kibbutz about, a kibbutz about <laughs> jewelry, I have recently started a line that I'll be calling Crystal Fire by Alexis Flame. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tony's actually wearing the sister piece to the necklace I'm wearing. I'm just yes. starting yes. out, but I'll figure in a month or two I will be taking orders, so be watching. Be watching, yes, and uh, I mean I have to say this. Let me just lift that out of, out of the way. But um, uh, this piece is fabulous. It is just, Thank you. it is just fabulous. It's stunning. It's a horror for the lights too. It it is. It's it's gorgeous. Does it does it set off? Does it set off my bosom? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Would you I like think to it see does. my necklace? <laughs> and Tony, thank you so much for wearing it, and it looks amazing on you, Mike. Oh well, thank thank you so much for for uh, making it for me. Uh, I love it. I, another one. I I you know this is not this is not hyperbole. This is not you know biased. This is one of the most beautiful pieces in my collection. It really is. Oh, I thank you, love sweetie. it. I I and love you're it. Not just saying that because not just saying that live, right. <laughs> not not just saying that because I know you can borrow your roommate's keys and be out yes, here in I forty can. minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I drive fast too. Uh, <laughs> oh, and no, and now remember everyone who's watching. If you, if you leave a comment, it'll it'll come up on the screen so we can see. You know, and you know anything anyone wants to say, anything anyone wants to share. If you care to tell Alexis and I how beautiful we are. Oh, I mean, we always love hearing that. We always love hearing that. You However, never... shade will not be tolerated unless it's one of us throwing it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Remember who the we are the hosts, okay? Exactly. Remember, Tony can mute everybody, including me. <laughs> <laughs> I got the power. <laughs> I've got your address. I got the power. <laughs> well, oh, our first, our first comment of the night from your good lady oh, friend Ambrosia Amore. Yes, we have to get Ambrosia on the show. We'd so. love to have Ambrosia on. So for those of you who don't know, my bestie Ambrosia Amore was once the biggest name in the Midwest pageant circuit. Mm -hmm. She's disgustingly beautiful. She really oh, is disgustingly thin. That too. <laughs> And those 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 like designer gowns that you have are just stunning. Oh, actually, it's Ambrosia who basically brought me back to the beaded gowns 
and the heavy makeup and all that. Mm -hmm. She's and to blame. You know what? And I'm glad that she did. Yes. Because makeup should always be heavy. If yes. you don't look like wax, then you've done something wrong. You've done something <laughs> wrong. Absolutely. We all want to look like Goldie Hawn and Meryl Streep in Death Becomes Her. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And I've been undead for centuries, so it definitely uh, becomes me. Uh huh. So tonight, our guest star is none other than a, one of my drag daughters. Well, another one. I mean, when I think about it, just how many of my children have we had on? A lot. <laughs> we've had we've had a lot on. I never but, mind tied. I should have my tubes vaporized. <laughs> but uh, you know, I I'm not complaining. Oh, uh, uh, Ambrosia. Oh, she wants to know what, what I'm drinking. This is this is an Irish, an Irish Shirley Temple. The last time I saw a specimen like that, they put the horse down. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's a uh, it's ginger ale and that uh and uh, what is it blue cor corsal. <laughs> so I wanted I wanted something green because it's our belated, you know, St. Yeah, Patty's I was Day. Going to wear green. Wait, I am <laughs> emeralds. But um, our, our guest for tonight is none other than another one of my daughters. Everybody, please welcome Crystal. Come down, flame. Yay! Hello, Crystal. Hi, darling. How are so you? Happy to be here. I'm Thank fabulous. You. And you? Chris, Thank you for I'm joining so us. You can make it from all the way in my living room. <laughs> yes, darling. She's at the <laughs> west end of the mausoleum. <laughs> oh, where am I? Did you remember to leave a trail of breadcrumbs so you can find your way back? I hope, honey. I am <laughs> scurred. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I am scurred. Once yeah, <laughs> she got through mm. the gate, she had to. Oh. Wolfie, where the hell have you been? You don't call, you don't write. My alimony better be on time. <laughs> anyway, I'll call you after the show, Wolfie. That's is that, John. Is that John? That's Wolfie. Yeah, I call him Wolfie. Okay. I used to call him Animal because he lay he used to roll because he used to have this really heavy, bushy hair. Mm -hmm. And then again, at one time, so did I. Oh, I still do. It's on about 30 wig heads. Oh. <laughs> and I, actually, he, he used to remind me of Animal from The Muppet Show, but I call oh. him Wolfie. <laughs> so, Crystal, tell us about Crystal Come Downs playing. If well, my fans want to know. Crystal Come Downs has been around for a while, darling. She's been around. Since so 95, honey, when I first got off the bus with $50 Greyhound Bus Port Authority, honey. Wow. Right. Oh, was that one of the, does this turn into one of those horrible Father Bruce Ritter stories? I think so. I really, wow. <laughs> I think so. That'll be another I episode. Think so. <laughs> right. Oh, but yeah, I'm the comeback kid, honey. Oh, I've, Can't heard, get rid of me. I've heard a lot of government in house stories. So, Crystal, what have you been doing? Don't you have a show coming up, a virtual show coming up very soon? Yes, I've been very thankful to be a part of the Vinyl Fantasy, honey, which is by um, Marcel Pena, Marcel the artist. We and love Marcel. Mm -hmm. Marcel is amazing, honey, and his co. Um, partner, he's cute as hell, too. Vegas Valentine, they both do the show Vinyl Fantasy. This Monday will be the second showing, Bedtime Stories. And I was asked back again for Madonna, of course, because you know, A Madonna, anyways. And isn't but, um, um, yeah, is he doing, doing the number with you? Izzy is doing the number with me. He's he's featured in my video, darling. He yes, plays my I, my love interest. I thought you were doing Justify My Love. That's when when you said. I thought that so too. Yes, another one of my children playing. <laughs> that would have been a, that would have been a great number to do. Right after the video, the Justify My Love um, 
almost, but we we're doing um a I can't tell you what number I'm doing, but it's one of the it's major surprise. hits on that album, darling. Oh, and oh. he no, plays no. my ab abusive love interest. So mm. we're gonna have to wait and see how mm. he abuses Crystal <laughs> and how I handle that. This sort of be good and entertaining. You know who else mm -hmm. is a diehard Madonna fan? Our dear friend Madison Mans. Madison Mans. Yes. Madison will be a guest on the show, I believe. Oh, you have the list. Do you have the list of I have the list. Oh, I'm so glad one of us I have the list. The other room. Uh, Madison will be on with us April 8th. Oh, excellent. April 8th, honey. Alexis can't wait to talk all about Madonna on a. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I mean, this is like gay sacrilege. I have to be the only faggot I know who's not a Madonna fan. Oh, really? I mean, I don't dislike her, but I'm just mm -hmm. not really a fan. I mean, I've done a couple of her songs, not as a Madonna impersonator. I'm just, I mean, yeah, she's got a lot of good songs. They all have a lot of good songs. Same thing with Lady Gaga. I'm just not in orbit, okay? Well, you didn't right really, on. you didn't really grow up in. I mean, you were, you were, you were a grown woman when yeah, Madonna was, you know. I, I think, you know, it tends to be the music when we're I like mean, teens I mean, I, that I, I really. Watched, and I've watched it happen where all the school girl, all the girls, school girls, getting on the bus. I watched the transition from Pat Benatar and Joan Jett to Madonna. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, you know, at first they all look like little punk rock video vamps, and now they're all desperately seeking Susan. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> looking out my window with a cup of coffee saying, mm -hmm. and when the Goodwill bin blew up, they all should have ducked. So, <laughs> <laughs> so true. But, uh, no, but as Madonna, well, we're all looking forward to seeing that. Oh, I just have to throw this in there. Throw it in. If anybody needs a reliable, thorough, and trustworthy cleaning lady, look for my daughter, Crystal. I'm not just her grandmother. I'm also a clock. <laughs> uh, you'll probably get a Long Island Railroad ticket in the mail very soon, Crystal. <laughs> Hopefully, honey. Hopefully. No, but Crystal comes by and she helps me out a lot. <laughs> and what I love the most, because I have a thing about people being in my room when I'm not, I don't have to worry. She goes in, she tidies up the room, although she didn't get to it today, as you can see. <laughs> you know, that's a good little drag name, Crystal Comes By. <laughs> oh, Crystal goes <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was thinking because what I'm going to call my jewelry line, Crystal Fire, I'm like, you know, if I wasn't Alexis Flame, I might use that as a drag name. Mm. Yeah, but, right. uh, no, but Crystal has been around for a while. Crystal was in and out of the whole club kid thing. Yes, honey. Every Wednesday and Friday night, darling, you could find me at the limelight, darling. Right. Never had to wait in line. VIP, honey. When you were young and cute, that's who they wanted upstairs. Well, now, did, you, did you know those infamous club kids? What was it? Who was it? Uh, Michael Alleg and uh, who's the, the one who, who recently passed away? That was my right. who it just was a, away. Oh, he was, he was the one who recently passed away. Yes, and, and who was the one who um, who killed the other club kid? Michael Alleg and uh, I forget which of his many boyfriends. Right. But, oh, the same um, one. Same one. Okay. Sophia Lamar, honey. She was mm -hmm. she was a staple there, honey. And the Lepore. Right. And, uh, you know, back on Friday nights at the at the limelight, which is insane. They used to have Jack in the Box, mm -hmm. which which was a, a one great big dark room. Oh. And you know what was going on in the dark room, honey. That you was know, like, did. literally Jack. In the box. In the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more like jacking off in the room. You went oh, in. I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Yeah, yes, right. you did. Yes, you did. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let's just it? say, what what are those um those uh, belly pouches? Those those pouches. You know oh, what I mean? Fanny Make sure you, right, fanny packs. Make sure you had one of those, honey, because you didn't want to lose anything in that room. Oh, jeez. Oh, dear. 
And who's who's the one he does? He has a YouTube channel where uh, drag queens um, do his do do his makeup. They like turn him into Are them. Like Jeffrey Star. Oh, that's uh, he was one of them. Uh, James St. James. Yes, James St. James. Yes, that's the one that Seth Green played in the movie. You didn't yeah. see yes. the movie Party Monster? No, I never saw it. Seth Green played James St. James. Okay, uh, I, I have to. I have to. I have to. I, now I have to. Do see I it. have to tell you girls everything? Yes, you do. Well, you know, we had Kenny Kenny at the door. He was always a delight oh, honey, every that. week. Kenny Kenny at the door. And um, yeah, you, um, John Blair party upstairs. That's where the real party was. was and upstairs. if Kenny didn't like you, you didn't get in. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't say much. You know what I mean? You talk less at the door. Don't say much at the door, and you have a better chance of getting in. I never had a problem getting in. <laughs> well, that's why uh, you're Alexis Flame. And there's that. <laughs> <laughs> But I uh, know the line, like, oh my God, ladies, wasn't that a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? Mm -hmm. Right. I was I was there the night it got raided and shut down. Oh. So was I. But I didn't get that <laughs> second part of the raid. <laughs> All the lights went up, and it was just amazing. Everyone was looking down and to see, you know, what bag of drugs... That someone oh, might have dropped or something, honey. That's it was okay. like <laughs> when everybody was gone, you should have seen what was picked up. With a... Anyway, though, my last memory of performing at the limelight, and if she's watching, my sister Leslie Savage would remember this. Mm -hmm. Because basically, I didn't bother with him just because I didn't like him. Why I was hired, I don't know. But it was Screw Magazine's Dial Upon Victory Party. And my dear darling sister Leslie went down in infamy for snubbing Al Goldstein at his own party. Oh. He was the head of Screw Magazine. Yeah. Which I wonder is still in if it's still in publication. I don't know. Is there any is there any uh, physical porn these days? It seems like every <laughs> porn well, it's is somewhere. It's got to when it's to get on the internet, it's gotta happen somewhere. Only in Alexis's room. <laughs> uh, and any night ending in a Y. <laughs> oh, did you see um, what I think was it? Um, well, Utah you notice, I mean, just ahead. banned porn on all smartphones and tablets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's, who did this? Utah. Utah. The state of Utah, darling. How, really? yeah. How does the state know what's on your phone, though? I mean... And it's like, well, um, if you, you if cross you over the state service, line? If you have service in that state, you will not be able to access porn on your phone oh, or I tablet. You I would. There, there's going to be a lot of unhappy Mormons. There's going to be a lot of uprising in Utah. <laughs> uh, or yeah. maybe not. <laughs> oh, uh, Carmen Gettick says, hello, ladies. Hello, Carmen. Oh, so wait, no where she's pretty and skinny. Oh, but then we hate her. <laughs> pretty and skinny ladies. <laughs> well, we it. Thank you for watching, sweetie. <laughs> Carmen Getta is Vermont's <laughs> new drag sensation, honey. She's the, one she? of the leading top drag queens in Vermont, honey. My oh. Well, state. speaking of Vermont, I've recently adopted as a niece, Donna Rhea. And she's a friend of yours, Crystal. Oh, well, you're Thanks basically friends with her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's funny because I've got like, I'm always at the 5,000 limit on Facebook. And I can say, I, I actually know a few hundred of these people. Mm -hmm. right. Where did the rest come from? <laughs> like, I mean, granted, I mean, I know I've been out there a long time, but I'm like. Well, listen, um, this week, I must say, since I am the guest, at naughty or nice this naughty week, honey. Or nice. <laughs> My Facebook requests have been blowing up, honey. Well, of course. I just well, you're in the company of two established and popular ladies. <laughs> the reasons why we're popular uh, might differ, but we're still popular. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Right. Um, no, right. no, but uh, guys, go ahead. 
a very um, interesting group of people. Let's just put it that way, honey. You've well, got. I, well, uh, that's one way of saying it. But I, I think Tony would agree with me. We have a rather diverse audience. True. <laughs> very true. So, yeah. but no, I mean, but no, so Crystal, what is your fondest memory of doing drag? Well, I, well, of course, well, I was thinking about this today, honey. It probably, it goes in chronological order. My first is um, doing the long haul and finally winning Drag Wars at Pieces with Shaquita, honey. Wow. That's a hard show to win. Okay. I don't care what anyone says. That's a hard show to win, darling. And it really is Drag Wars backstage and on, honey. It really is. And my second, of course, is being Crystal Come Dance Flame, honey, in the Crypt of Flame. That's like the- That's so sweet, thank and you. And tonight, being on Naughty and Nice, honey, like I said, I hit the big time, darling. Thank you. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Right. And also, ladies, for all of you, for all of you performers out there, Okay, um, I basically handle the talent. I mean, you could reach out to Tony, but uh, I basically do the scheduling. I mean, that's one of the reasons why Tony and I complement each other so well, because we're both very talented, but in a lot of different ways, and we just mesh so well together. But, but anyone out there, if you're any type of entertainer, artist, what have you, Feel free to message me on Facebook. Okay, I would give out my, I would announce my phone number, but uh, we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> Don't laugh, Tony, because you're going to be involved <laughs> in the next rant. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Ceci, she already knows where I'm going with this, too. <laughs> Wait, but. Uh, Anyone? Doesn't everyone have your number already? <laughs> no, Crystal, that's your number they already have. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I thought I saw it on the bathroom wall when I was... <laughs> you know, you're, all, you're not that far away, Crystal. That's true. <laughs> Crystal, <laughs> girl, you in, get, you in danger, girl. I could get to you a lot faster than I could get to Tony. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the front door... It locks by remote control. Oh, okay. Right. Like Dr. <laughs> no. In case you were thinking of making a dash, don't bother. No bother. Honey, I'm sitting in this recliner. I'm waiting to be, like, dumped out the floor like in a James Bond <laughs> movie. Yeah, right? Point. Yeah, and I, got, and I got the poor girl in my living room where one of my ex-boyfriends is snoring up a fucking store. Oh, goodness. Girl. <laughs> Let me tell you, this kid can snore like a 30-man lumber camp. Hmm. I'm like, who is here? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? And, and Alexis, have you been at a lot of 30-man lumberjack um, sleepovers? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you think so? <laughs> well, we'll say I was there, but there was no sleeping. <laughs> Hey, the old, man, the old lady's got to do something to keep her figure. This is true. It's exercise. Which, speaking of figure, I mean, everybody, even the downstairs neighbors notice that I've lost weight. It's always good to be told that. Uh, but the fabulous thing is, huh, the ex-boyfriend snoring in the living room, the weight that I lost, it seems that he found it. Uh. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> that oh, I'm sure it's. I'm sure you just feel so so terrible. We, I really do. You're t so torn up, Alexis. So what is That's your secret? Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I can tell you, the the young men come into the apartment, but when they leave, Crystal, they're they're on like a walker, <laughs> shuffling. Yeah, and you know what? I and she look, just looks younger and younger. <laughs> and I look even younger still if my co-hosts and keep telling them it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cameron Etherton. She says, "LOL, Crystal with her." I, I think she mean. I think she, she said colors light, but I think she meant cores light. Right, cores light. Cameron, honey. is that is Cameron? Cores light. 
That's a girl. Coors Light. That's a girl's beer. Cameron wow. also. Colorado kids water. Cameron goes by the name of Bethadone Clinique. She's another star oh. from Vermont, darling. Oh. Right. I'm living for that. Bethadone Clinique. <laughs> Bethadone Clinique. Bethadone Clinique. <laughs> yes, honey. Oh, honey, that's not shade. That's a lunar eclipse. <laughs> She's everything, let me tell you. She really is. A Boston native, honey. Oh. Right. My son Calvin is from Massachusetts. Okay. Another child. That's oh, a, yes. The child she had with with Nick Lyon. Yes. Who is still behind on child support. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope you're watching, Nikki. Now, Crystal, was was your since you started back in '95? Now has has your drag name always been Crystal Come Downs, or did you did you it's change? It's always it? been always Crystal been? Come Downs, mm -hmm. right? And then one time I had a boyfriend. He looked like a Mike Tyson lookalike. He was like mm -hmm. a bodyguard, and I guess that's what I was going for. He couldn't take the drag uh, and like made me do like a hiatus. Oh. Right? So I did a little hiatus. Mm -hmm. And during that time, there was a bitch, honey, who tried to take my name, oh. Crystal Come Down. And really? she performed at Barracuda, honey, and all that under Crystal Come Down. And I have to say, finally, the, the girls from Lips, NYC, honey, set her straight. Uh huh. And we never saw her again, girl. Oh, my. But oh if, my. if, if, if you go to sleep or take a nap, honey, be careful. They will take your name, honey. Trust, honey. Mm -hmm. oh, Nick. Right. I th next thing you know, there's going to be a talkie home tone perm, honey. <laughs> right. I've never had that problem, actually. Alexis Fire or Alexis Flames. Alexis oh, Bob Flames. Tiedman says hello. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hi, Bob. Thank, thank you for well, watching. I've actually, and I've been doing drag since God replaced. I, I, I've been doing drag, drag since God left Chicago. So, I mean, I've never had that problem. Right. You're lucky, honey. You invented drag. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I edited it. I did not invent it, but I did do a lot of editing. I remember <laughs> on the last last show we were talking about, you know, the images of Alexis on these like Egyptian hier hieroglyphics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we what? Crickets. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's so Nice. Right. <laughs> no, but I do want to give a shout out to my mm. Vermont girls, Carmen Gettit, who's going to be in this uh, Monday's Vinyl Fantasy. She's doing a number. They asked her, honey. Oh, and Madonna, good, right? The Madonna Bedtime Stories. Mm -hmm. And then my good friend, um, Amy Lee Celestial and Bethadone Clinique. And Anita Cocktail in Vermont. They've got a real big thing going, and they put Vermont drag on the map. Well, let's hear it for the oh. ladies. Yes. Oh, and Tim Clem is saying hello to me. Hello, Tim. Hello. And uh, TJ is saying, hey, girl, love me some Miss Crystal. You've got a fan. That's Amy Lee, honey. Amy Lee Celestial. Oh, there you go. Yes, One of your honey. sisters. Now, Crystal, I believe the Vinyl Fantasy, isn't there a share edition coming up? I hear that there is a share edition coming up, and it's going to be the NYC Pride Edition, honey, Ooh. Vinyl Fantasy. Nice. Right. And I'm hearing that there's talks of, you know, Alexis Flame being in the show, honey. So we're gonna have to look for her, girl. Really? Hope. This is my first time hearing about it. Of course it is. <laughs> and Bob well, says brought it up. Bob says you all look fabulous. Thank you, Bob. Bob, thank you so much. And thank you for always tuning in. We have to love our devoted fans. We do, we do. And we also, do. speaking of devoted fans, once again, although Tony and I have yet to set a date, but it'll be in the near future, be on the lookout for the Naughty or Nice Awards. Awards. Because Tony and I, we do a lot within the community and the outer realms of. 
And we know this, and we hear a lot of our peers, and we're not talking about, oh, this is fixed, that is fixed, the other, and the powers that be deny it. Well, not Tony and I. We're here to tell you that the Naughty or Nice Awards are completely rigged and totally biased. Uh, 100%. So there's going to be no guessing. We're telling you. Yeah, it's rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> Completely. It is, so nice. it is so rigged. Okay. We'll be sitting there with our erector sets. That's how rigged it is. Exactly. Well, in that case, honey, both of you get free cleanings until the awards. <laughs> you can start tonight before you go home. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll get you, girl. Starting with the trash on my sofa. No, anyway. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but also, no, but Crystal's been doing a lot of virtual shows and whatnot. And as, have, as have a lot of us. <laughs> she's got this video of her as Madonna, complete with ponytail and pointy boobies. That's just everything. I'll bet. It really is. She put a lot of, uh, she, she put a lot of uh, effort into seeing that the video had great production value. I was actually impressed. Thank you, darling. That and was impressing a... me is not an easy thing to do. No. It was a... And it's not even because I'm all that bougie. It's because I just don't care. No, anyway. To... Well, even though it, it doesn't mm -hmm. impress you, darling, but it was a $500 you know, I was ponytail. I said I was impressed by the video. Right, right. No, but not the five hundred dollar ponytail. Up your hearing aid, Alma. Mm. <laughs> that was for those of you who don't know. That was a reference to Sister Act. <laughs> Tony, I'm loving your hair tonight. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, it's the wig, the wig wizard. I would know anything about the wig wizard. I know Very you. Very Irish, Tony. <laughs> Um, no, I think Frank has to do one of those for me in either black or red. I was going to be a redhead tonight because it is our belated St. Patrick's Day show. And then I thought, number one, I look like Helen Green. No, that's not true. I do have that great green sequin jumpsuit. But uh, I'm just, I'm not Irish. Why am I going to wear green? I said, you know, I'm one of those snotty Italians at St. Patrick's Day. I wear red. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, no, I just, you know, I worked the emeralds into the jewelry. And, but no, seriously, but St. Patrick's Day, just another really great parade that got canceled by this. Girl. I yeah. have had COVID up to my, up and over my yeah. fake boobs. Okay, <laughs> something's got to break. This is just. You know, know. It, it's past redundant. It's past ridiculous. Okay, oh. now there's a vaccine, and I don't think that just Bob says awesome necklaces. Why? Thank you, Bob. And you can get one too. <laughs> soon, coming soon. Coming very soon. Coming no, very but soon. This whole coronavirus thing—it just has everything messed all the way up. And there is the vaccine now, and don't get it twisted, folks. I'm not one of those people who think that because there's a vaccine, you can run and jump and skip and have a happy time. But seriously, we know what we know what the limits are. We know to wear masks. We know that uh, you know there's the vaccine. Okay, but the businesses they really have to clear. A businesses to open again. Okay, they're talking about boosting the economy. With everything shut down, there's no economy to boost. Yeah, except Amazon. <laughs> Who's got which money for anything? Which doesn't need the boost. <laughs> Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm saying okay, yeah. Amazon, don't even get me started on Amazon. Mm. Amazon gets most of my freaking money these days. <laughs> but it's, it's just that easy. But you know what? But you can't do like say me. You know, like say Amazon, even Walmart, you can buy your groceries online. I'm an old Italian bro. I can't buy my groceries online. Like canned goods and pasta, yeah, that's fine. But when it comes to meats and fruits. And pr yeah, your produce, your vegetables. I got to pinch it myself. Exactly. Honey, you like to weigh your meat. Yes. <laughs> that's one way of saying it. 
Oh, I'm seriously, I can't. I'm not gonna buy meats and produce online. No. Okay, but I mean, this is just. I'm so done with this whole coronavirus mess. And plus, I have COPD. I don't want to hear it, people. Yes, I still smoke. I'm a lung cancer survivor, so I'm high risk for this virus. Okay, I was to a point perfectly happy to stay home. Okay, but then the coronavirus hit, and there's curfews, and there's this, and there's that. I'm like, I'm old as hell. Now I'm grounded? My parents are dead. Who the hell is going to ground my old fat ass? And everybody wants you. Really? Thanks for telling me. Uh, I don't know well, why. We have a hi, ladies, from Ken Johnson, who... Uh, hi, Ken. Thank you for tuning in, Your Majesty. Uh, and, uh, and one of the empresses from the uh, the Imperial Court. Uh, wh wh which Imperial Court is that? I know it's Texas, Ken. And and Ken is uh, having a, has put us in their show that's uh, this Saturday. Yes, yeah. that's oh, right. Okay. Their, the virtual show. We the oldies but goodies. The oldies but goodies show, yes. Busy, busy, busy. Honey, you guys stay ready. We stay ready. Stay ready so you don't <laughs> have to get ready. Exactly. Yeah. What's that from uh, What's Love Got to Do With It? What? What? You ain't going on stage? Then you getting ready to go on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. No, but seriously, I mean, it's, it, it, no, but it's, you know, but seriously, the, this virus has taught me a lot of things, though. I mean, as bad as it is, the upsides are, I've taken up horology, which is the study of and repairing clocks, especially old ones. Yes, I'm quite aware of my reputation, people, but not that type of, of whore. <laughs> hello, hello, dear. Mm -hmm. Hello, Claire. Uh, I, I've rehoned my skills and my and my proclivities for restoring antique furniture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've now we've been taking up the creation of rhinestone jewelry. I mean, I've you know I've revived old talents that I had. I've discovered new ones that I didn't know I had. But that's because I've been grounded. I want to go to play, people. <laughs> Jesus. Pretty soon you'll start selling Avon. <laughs> no. You're now no. a crystal. <laughs> My skin laughs at Avon. <laughs> no, but it's if there's anyone that can sell Avon, though, it's you too, honey. You guys can sell I can Avon. sell anything. I really can. And we're not even going to visit the scenario that goes as that as of late. <laughs> but, however, no, but especially... I feel bad for people like Tony, because before this pandemic, Tony was well booked past the opening of this year. As a matter of fact, Tony, if I if memory serves me correctly, your last booking from your old calendar would have been sometime next week. Um, no, the the last booking I, that I had, like that was scheduled, like almost a year out, was for uh, was for New Year's Eve. It was like, oh, I thought you had a couple past that. No. Because no, we're not that far past the It's only March. I know, I know. But but, but, still, but, but, but it had been booked like almost a year Jimmy prior. It was booked through the new year, almost a year in advance. Yeah. And then, poof. So I, I guess <laughs> me asking for the loan, Tony, is out. <laughs> but myself also, I mean, I made the comeback. I had all these gigs. Then all of a sudden, all I had was crickets. Chirp, chirp. Not my favorite. Yeah, chirp, chirp. chirp. I mean, it, it's just, it's devastating. And then there's the uh, limits on how many people can be uh, in a venue. And who's, it's just, and this, is, this is really, this is really an upsetting time that we're mm -hmm. living in. It really is. Tony will return. Yes, she will. Thank you, Bob. Of we all will. She will. She we all will. We all will. I don't know about myself. I actually might stay online. Because <laughs> uh, even though, and Tony, you and I have talked about this, and Crystal and I were talking about it earlier, and any of our fellow performers watching this, 
I'm sure you'll be compelled to agree with me. When we do these shows, and don't get it twisted, Tony and I love doing this. And we love coming to visit you all every other Thursday. But the fact of the matter is, and we joke about being you know, like, you know, in sweatpants or gym shorts from the waist down. And for the most part, we are. Tonight <laughs> I am. <laughs> no, but seriously, <clears throat> doing this does take every bit as much energy as when we come to you on stage. The only difference is our feet don't hurt as bad the next time. True, very true. <laughs> That's the only difference. It really is. I'm sitting here, my legs are crossed. <laughs> I keep bragging about this. For those of you who don't know it, yes, I'm a big girl, but not too long ago, I weighed almost 300 pounds. And now I can cross my legs. Thank you. <laughs> that has been a public service announcement. And now that I can cross my legs, maybe I won't have so many damn kids. <laughs> Tim Clem says, I am new to the show and I am enjoying this very much. I will be a regular, very entertaining. I adore you all. Thank oh, you so much, Tim. Tim. Thank you so much for joining oh. us. That was so sweet. And we look nice. forward to having you aboard. <laughs> well, it is almost that time. So, Crystal, before we say goodbye to you, my darling daughter, and I put in a whack, <laughs> was that my younger thing <laughs> <laughs> um, Crystal, number one. So, what, oh, and by the way, Crystal will be back with me as we broadcast live from the mausoleum on Monday. Mm -hmm. But, Crystal, before you go, we want you to tell us all what's coming up in the very near future and where we can find Crystal Come Downs on social media. Well, coming up, like I said, Monday, Vinyl Fantasy, 8 p.m. on Twitch, Honey Davenport's channel exclusively. So make sure you go to oh, Honey Davenport. We've worked, uh, Tony, you and I have worked with Honey in the past. Yes, we did. Yes, she's a sweetie, honey. Mm -hmm. she really um, is. We love Vinyl that. Fantasy is exclusive on Honey Davenport's channel. And that's coming up on Monday. That'll be what we're doing from here, yes. And then probably the after party, honey. Oh, from the after party is what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, where do we find you on social media, Crystal? You find me, you know, on my Instagram at Crystal Come Downs, Facebook. Joel Hodgen, even though we don't we don't like to say that name too much, honey. I'm <laughs> I'm in the process of changing that name, honey. Oh, I can walk you through I was that wondering... before you leave. Right. Well I can walk you through that tonight. Everything is everything is it, I forgot the password. You know how it is, honey. Oh. I gotta create a whole Do you know what email so actually the what the problem is talk about is that. when you Let's forget the about... email. True. Oh, now you have a problem. Now, now you have a problem. Right. Yes. And then coming up, also Vinyl Fantasy, I want to say, I've been really working with them lately. They've got a Britney uh, show coming up the first week in April. So make sure you all follow Vinyl Fantasy on Instagram and Facebook, exclusively on Honey Davenport's channel. And coming in April, we'll see what happens. In May, I know I'm going to have a big birthday party celebrating Ooh. my birthday, honey. Nice. Well, that one, that'll be something not to be missed, and I'll have to make sure I have just the right outfit. Honey, <laughs> right. We're going to make it so you, you perform performers, Tony. Hopefully, we can get you there. Mm hmm Right. Well, if we can't get her there, I'm sure we can get her virtually. Apps always can get me virtually. That's cute. That's cute. Like that <laughs> but like I said, I exist you... virtually. <laughs> My whole <laughs> existence is virtual. <laughs> Go yeah, out that, and follow. I understand truth. 
Go Stand out and it. follow my good sis, honey, Marcel the Artist on Instagram and Vegas Valentine, honey. We, we've got some new things coming up. Marcel is going to be hosting a new weekly show at XOXO Bar on 46th Street, right by the Ritz, honey. And His new gig. People. So I'm sure he's going to have us all there at some point, honey. So be looking for that. And um, yeah, so very excited. We'll see. I'm, I'm very it happy about so all nice this. to be back on an actual stage again. It really was. Right. And, it, and it's very a cute true. place from what I hear. Well, we shall see very soon. Crystal, you know I love you, my dear. And thank you. So, oh, wait, before we let you go. So as per our title, so Crystal, are you naughty or are you nah. Nah. <laughs> I think I'm really naughty, honey. <laughs> well, right. she is a flame child. <laughs> exactly. It's hereditary. Exactly. Hereditary. <laughs> hereditary. It's all in the genes. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Hello. the point. I can get back into my yeah. genes now. Gloria Vanderbilt or Calvin Klein? <laughs> yes. Honey, I can Short get ash. back into my sassoos. Short <laughs> ash. My sassoos. My, here's a blast from the past. Yeah. Bitches, I can I can almost get back into my Sergio Valente. Oh, Sergio Valente jeans. I remember I had Sergio Valente jeans. Honey, I had all of them. Forget about it. I, I, was a, I still am a label boy. Crystal, thank you so much for joining us, honey. Yes, thank, thank you. so much. I love you guys. Good night, Tony. Good night, Good night, Alexis. Crystal. Good night, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Oh, she's so oh, much fun. Sweetie. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Oh, extra long nails tonight. I don't usually I do them. I cut mine that down long. because uh, I'm making the jewelry. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to only half an inch each now. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I can, uh, my nails grow so fast. <laughs> Holly <Jeff>. Joe. <laughs> Well, everybody, uh, that pretty much concludes another episode of Naughty or Nah. Nice. <laughs> Although I wanted, I wanted to tell people about some upcoming stuff that we have going on. Well, tell them. I like. I know. I'd like to know. So, um, f first thing, of course, we we mentioned it before when uh, Ken Johnson popped in. Um, Ken Johnson is from the uh, uh, United Court of Austin. Uh, oh, okay. And this Saturday, uh, March 27th, 6 p.m., it is uh, the Over the Hill Gang presents an evening of oldies but goodies. And we both... Over the Hill, I resemble that remark. I know, I know. We both are featured performers in that. And it's, yes, we are. It's a great cause. The pro proceeds are uh, benefiting, uh, I think it's uh, um, Austin Charities Project Transitions and... Breast, the Breast Cancer Resource Center. So two great. Well, Tony and I are always there. Yes. To support breast cancer research. As a matter Good. of fact, Tony, I do believe I need to pay a phone call to our darling sister Edwina Scooterwitch and find out about the possibilities of the next Drag Go Go. Well, I had her comments up before. She started with Tony Homper. I'm looking good in green and white. Followed by "Don't let it go to your head," lol. <laughs> ah, we followed by Alexis Flame. That wig is pretty cool too. The bling is everything. They everyone loves the the jewelry tonight. I'm oh, so glad. And she says, "Oh, sweet baby Jeebus, I need a new wig." Lol. Well, you know how to get to the wig wizard, dear. And <laughs> Edwina well, does have one. And Tim Clem said, "Great show and have a safe night, you too, Clem." Thank uh, Tim. you, Tim. Thank you for tuning in. And Bob Tiedman says, have a great night and enjoy. Thank you for, for tuning in tonight. Tiedman seems to be a very nice looking bear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they all? Yeah, well, let me go ahead and say it before Tony does. Bob, it's a trap. It's a trap. Don't go there. <laughs> Watch yourself, Bob. Bob, I happen to be an excellent cook. <laughs> and uh, I also have to uh, have to just mention... Uh, this is this is a this is a Tony this is a solo Tony thing. Uh, I'm featured in the Imperial Courts 
uh, Latin virtual Latin explosion following oh, yes. the oldies, oh, but goodies. Of the Imperial Court of New York, and then of which we are both members. Yes. We also have the upcoming ballads from the boudoir. From the boudoir, yes, we do. I believe that's April third. Yes, it season. is. That's a matter of fact. April third, we will uh, both, and we are both. Uh, performance in that too. In, you know, in Tony, that. even when we're, when we're not working together, we're working together. I know, right? <laughs> Tony helps me with all of my videos. <laughs> True. Well, and now that you know, and to find us, I am Alexis mm -hmm. Flame on Facebook. I am Let's Alexis Flame on Tumblr. Uh, Flame Alexis on uh, Instagram, Instagram, and Alexis Flame too on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Not that I, I don't even know what the hell I am on Snapchat. I don't even know how to use Snapchat. I don't think I have Snapchat. I don't think you know. I have it, but other than the occasional I am, hell if I know how to use you it. You know, you know, TikTok basically killed Snapchat. So there's real. I don't think. Oh, yeah, and then I found out Facebook owns Instagram. Yes, they do. Yeah, I have a TikTok page. I don't know how to use that either. I've used it a little bit, but... No, you know who we need to have as a guest if we want to learn about TikTok? Lady yeah, LaBelle. Stone, Lady LaBelle, yes, Lady ma LaBelle. She is the queen of TikTok. She really is. Yeah, she even does, like, live TikToks. Really? Which, I didn't know yeah, you can do you can do, you can do TikTok hey, live. Hey, you know, I'm wondering, Tony, as far as our podcast, is there a way we can incorporate Instagram, too? Uh no, they don't have they don't have it um set up like that. How about if we each incorporated a second device? Uh, it's possible. I don't know if we would get that feedback though. You know what? We'd have to uh, talk about that we'd, more one on one. Yeah, we'd have. Yeah, I'm just something. thinking of expansion. Sure, absolutely. I'd like to see something other than my bra expand. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like every week, though, there's some 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 new platform, like you know, this that's Twitch. Just, that's just it. I mean, because I mean, I was trying to rig one of my because I have some cool video cam. I mean, I have two decent camcorders, and I have a very expensive digital camera, a Canon. And there's a way to get to use those as web as webcams too. And a friend of mine who's like a miracle worker with computers. He did it for me, but of course I didn't remember. But uh, I've got to figure it out because I'd like to not only have a better quality camera, but Tony, I mean, there's just so much we can do and reach a wider audience. I know, I know, yes. I mean, because I ha we both have a lot of fun doing this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would just like to see a lot more people have fun with us. Absolutely. absolutely. I have to look into this Twitch. The Twitch is something new. We should because you know what? We get, a, I mean, we do get a lot of viewers. Mm -hmm. I'm just a greedy old head and I want a lot more. We want them all. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We want all of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have, I'm yeah. a great cook. We have all kinds of treats, uh -huh. but we would just love to see all of you. It's a trap! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Now I know you. You were saying, "Oh, don't, 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 don't try to do a close up on 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 you tonight." But oh, I have to say, yes. I have to say, when you when you you leaned in, that set is just exquisite. So I'm not asking you oh, to lean in again. So much, not honey. asking you to lean in again. No, but when I'm you not, did lean I'm in, because if I lean again, my back's going out. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> but when you did lean in, the set is it's just exquisite. It really is. Well, beautiful. thank you. And like I said, this. I could possibly see my way because a lot does go into it. Also, for the uh, various jewelers that uh, Tony and I have met through being members of the Imperial Court that I always held in high regard about Tim Thorin and Rob DeSanto, mm -hmm. Robert Sorrell, Empress Pheromones. Now that I've started my, you know, now that I've tried my hand at creating jewels, and past Empress of the Connecticut Court, Kiko Amor. Mm -hmm. I've always had admiration and respect for all of you. Now that I'm trying it myself, I have a whole lot more. Yeah. 
I mean, because also I can recall a time when I brought a tiara to Pheromones for repair. And I thought, oh, this is going to be so involved. She did it in seconds and we were chatting while she did it. Wow. And hopefully I will one day hopefully. get to that point. But let me tell you, it is a lot of work, but you know what? It's also a lot of fun, like moving things around, creating, mm -hmm. seeing how it goes together. Mm -hmm. And with, with, uh, with time, my content will, will uh, inform. But also those of you who remember me from working with Raining Rhinestones, a lot of you will know that Joy Nolting used to also create originals. And I've learned so much from her. And I want to share what, what I learned with everybody else, especially you, Tony, because you're so oh, nice. So nice. <laughs> and Tony, mm. like I said, I thank you. And I'm not being shady, but it is indeed a beautiful necklace. And Tony, it looks beautiful on you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, Bob Deedman said, we'll follow you anywhere. Thank you, Bob. He must be talking to you because people are frightened of me. <laughs> Bob, thank you. And Tim Clem said you are very talented. Why, thank you. And what's this from Lawrence Hunter? Oh, my God. I just had an idea. If you open the last half of the show to viewer call-ins on the air, I bet the number of viewers will go through the roof. I mean, it would be Actually, possible to... Um, not a bad idea. It would. But it is possible it. to do to do that to bring people on. Is it? Yeah. You know what? Thank you for the idea, and that's something Tony and I will kick about. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know what? Maybe not every episode, but you know what, Tony? That might not be a bad thing. Yeah. You know, the thing is, here's the thing with, um, with that. Some sometimes uh, a lot of people they don't want to they don't want to come on air. That's true. You don't want, you know, it's we like, do it voice only. Um, I, you know, I think it, it might be, it, it might be possible. You know what? I don't you know. know what, Tony? That's something that during the day, and I can get someone like my daughter Gio, who's going to be an upcoming guest, or maybe even Crystal. That's something we actually have to experiment with mm. and see how it works before we actually take it on the air. Yeah. And um. What else is I going to say? No, but I mean, I just see us going a lot farther because I have so much fun doing this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, and you know, and I love the fact that every other week we come and visit with all of you, and you have fun with us. Because basically, Tony and I always have a kiki on the phone. Mm -hmm. And basically, what this really is, you get to eavesdrop on the call. <laughs> True. True. Yes, Lawrence Hunter says you both know a lot of public personalities too. Airtime, keeping out with them helps keep them visible too. Actually, we do. And speaking of public personalities, one of our guest stars in the near future will be Richard Pryor Jr. Yes, that actually who is to be the son of a legend. Rich, Richard He's Pryor, the yes. famed comedian Richard Pryor. Yes, that's April twenty second. Yes, and be prepared because he's a laugh riot. He really is, and he's a total sweetheart. I can't wait to meet him. Oh, Tony, you're going to love Richard. You really <laughs> are. He's great. He's just great. Well, that's about it, folks. And be looking out for us with both Imperial Court performances. Mm -hmm. and Tony will also be in the Imperial Court's Latin Explosion. Mm -hmm. So once again, I am um, the naughty... Alexis Flame and my co-hostess with the most is the nice, nice Tony Homeperm. Well, we'll see you again in two weeks from tonight. And until then, naughty nightmares. Mwah. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night.